Hi, I'm Bethany Alexander with Grassroots Garden Group. A couple weeks ago, we did a Facebook post where we showed photos of some yard art flowers that we made at one of our monthly gatherings, and it was a big hit and people really liked them. So we thought, why not make a video and show you how we made them? Um, it's a really fun project. It's inexpensive. You can pr probably make three of these things for less than $20. And it's a great thing to do with your kids or with by yourself, um, with some friends, socially distanced, of course. And uh, it can be done in just a couple of hours. So first up, I thought I would show you the supplies that you're going to need. Some of the things you'll probably have laying around the house, a couple things you're going to have to buy. So first up, you're going to need um, some cotton balls and rubbing alcohol. You're gonna need some um, craft sticks or popsicle sticks, and then some parchment paper or paper towels. Not paper towels, paper plates, there you go. Um, and then the three things that you're gonna to need to buy at the store, one is this, um, is copper tubing. So this is just half inch, you want half inch copper plumbing pipe, get it at the hardware store. This comes in a 10 long stretch, um, so I have them cut it down into three sections. So we did two three-foot sections and then a four-foot section. And if you can have them cut it um, at the hardware store at a slight angle, that's really best because then this is, what's, this is your stem for your flower and this is what's going to go into the ground. So better to have a, a nice sharp point than something flat. So you're gonna need that. Then you're gonna need this cute little guy, which is a little, um, plumbing elbow, I think it's what it's called. But again, half inch, it's gonna have two circles, two in, inners, whatever you wanna call that, and then a nice flat back. This is what's gonna be adhered to the back of your flower, and then this is what's going to go onto the stem. And then the last thing you need is some epoxy. So I went on to YouTube and searched a bunch of videos of how to make these things wrote down all the different types of epoxies they recommended. And this was the one that after my research then at the store, I thought seemed to make the best sense because it sets in five minutes and it cures in an hour. So that way you can get the whole project done because there are a couple steps to it. Um, lets you get it done in a couple hours as opposed to a couple of days. So that is my recommendation for that one. And now for the best part of your supplies, your dishes. So get a fun assortment, garage sales, yard sales, um, Goodwill, Salvation Army, um, any place where you can find fun, cheap dishes, glasses, bowls, mugs, any wine glasses, anything you want to use to make your art yard art. Um, don't spend a lot of money, but, um, but have fun with it. So all in all, your supplies from the things you have to get at the store along with your dishes, again, we're talking about maybe $20, depending on how crazy you go with how many dishes you buy. So, um, so let's get started. Let's make a flower. So first step is gonna be taking your rubbing alcohol. You're gonna give your cotton ball a nice good squish and you're going to just, all the surfaces that are gonna get cleaned are going to be epoxied, you want to just give them a good wipe just to make sure we wipe all of the oils and dirt off of them so that what gets epoxied is what should be epoxied. The next step is going to be your epoxy. So you're going to put your little gadget together here. You're going to squeeze some out onto your parchment paper and you're going to take your popsicle craft stick, you're gonna crack it in half. You're gonna give your epoxy a good stir, mix it up. And then you want to give a nice healthy coating to the area that you want to epoxy. So if you notice this plate has this rim, this is what you wanna fill in, not the start in the center because that's not gonna to touch your plate. So give it a nice thick coating, don't skimp on the epoxy.
You're gonna set it where you want. You got one chance, so make it make it work. And you're just give it a light push, and then you're if you've got another layer, you're gonna do the next one. And a helpful hint with anything that's a cut glass, particularly like with this one, there's not a lot of flat surfaces on it because you have all of these deep grooves from the from the the cuts in the glass. So make sure when you're doing the epoxy to really fill it in so you get a nice thick layer and a nice wide area that's gonna set on your dishes. Don't scamp on the epoxy. And again, that's gonna set for about five minutes and then it's, it's gonna, everything will adhere, but we want it to just sit and cure for about an hour. So take the dog for a walk around the block, play with the kids in the yard. If you're having girlfriends to overdoing this, go have a glass of wine and chat. Um, so now it's an hour later and now comes the moment of truth. You're going to take your yard art and you're gonna flip it upside down. <laughs> and it worked. So, um, so that's all good. Now, if you notice, this doesn't look like a flower. If it is, it's a very asymmetrical one. But what I've done with this one is I wanted to show you something else that you can make with these. This is a bird feeder. So I've attached a little mug to this plate and you put your bird seeds, sunflower seeds, whatnot in there. It spills out, place for it to catch. Birds get to sit on it, eat, and I'm sure the squirrels will figure out how to get up here too. Um, so, so that's another option that you can make. If you're not a flower person, make a bird feeder. So this one is, um, just like is a little, because it's a little lopsided, I'm just taking a, a can here to make a flat surface. Again, just like we did um, in our first step, we're gonna take our little elbow, make sure you remove the price tag off of it, okay? Because that will show through the glass. So take your thing, give it a nice coating. You're gonna give a coating as well of alcohol just to clear off the back. And again, give a really generous coating to this because this is what's going to be carrying the weight of your art. All right. And then you're going to set it. Make sure you're putting it right side up. And again, just set it there. Let it sit for an hour. And then an hour from there, Voila, you have a finished piece. So there's your piece. Everything is holding up. Ta -da. And so now if we were outside, <laughs> we take my, our stem, push it down into the ground. And then we take our flower and pop it onto our stem. And voila, you have a yard art flower or bird feeder, or here's the other fun thing you could do with these. If you turned around and took your flower and put it on the way you would with your bird feeder, now it's sitting up straight and you could use this at a party. This could be a serving piece. How about that? You could put little breadsticks, carrot sticks in here, put little things or a dip, put everything crackers around here. If we have to socially distance for the next year or two, you could have these scattered all over your yard and everybody could have their own little platter. <laughs> How about that? So those are yard art flowers and bird feeders. So if you have any questions about this or you'd like to learn more about Grassroots Garden Group, feel free to send us a message on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash grassrootsgardengroup or send us an email at grassrootsgroup2015 at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed. We hope you have fun making these um, just like we did. Be well, be safe, and thanks for watching. Take care.